The historic flood along the Missouri River five years ago caused billions of dollars in damage. So many families displaced, five deaths, interstate commerce disrupted. John Chapman and producer Roger Hamer spoke with some of those in western Iowa who hope something of that magnitude never happens again. I thought for sure this was it. Dan Swozak lives in the northwest end of Council Bluffs. His house sits just yards away from the earthen levee protecting the city. And it started rising and rising and rising, and it came. I remember the most of it was in my dining room and, and kitchen area. Swozak's family was forced to move out as floodwaters rose, eventually entering his home. We had two bedrooms that had stuff in them that had to be thrown away. It was a terrible thing. A few blocks away, Interstate 29 is underwater. Breaks in several levees north of Council Bluffs shuts down the interstate and threatened homes. Swozak was luckier than some. If that baby would have broke, it would have been all too bad. We've never experienced water that high before for that long a time, so we, we were a little bit, it was a little bit of unknown for us. So. Matt Cox is the, the, the city engineer in Council Bluffs. It was the high groundwater that came with the high river elevations, and that caused a lot of sewer failures, uh, a lot of flooding, interior ponding flooding issues, just because we were, you know, we were surrounded by water. Every time it rained inside, our water couldn't get out. This flood was just devastating. Upriver at the Soto Bend, Deputy Refuge Manager Mindy Sheets recalls the chaos as water continued to rise. Unlike a natural flood, we knew this flood was coming. So we got tons of U-Haul trucks and, and hauled artifacts to Omaha to a safe location and so completely evacuated the steam at Bertrand artifacts. Yeah, they were safe. The entire refuge and nearby farms were completely underwater. Oh, and is it powerful? It lifted up our roads, our paved roads, and moved them. That power claimed the life of Missouri State Trooper Fred Guthrie Jr. He was swept away by floodwaters. His patrol car nearby, its lights still flashing. Well, we just had one thing in mind, and that was trying to find him. Guthrie's body was recovered a few days later. Reminders of the flood of 2011. Many will never forget. Something we don't want to go through again. With producer Roger Hamer, John Chapman, WOWT 6 News. Council Bluff City Engineer Matt Cox says there were several street issues and sewer problems for a few years after the water receded. He says it is difficult to tell if those issues were a direct cause of the flood of 2011. And a reminder, we will have continuing coverage of that flood every Wednesday at 6 through the month of June.